Gosh, here it is, the Cupra Born. I've been waiting to see this in the metal for a really long time. First impressions, it looks absolutely superb, but it's a lot bigger in person than it looks in photographs, but we'll, we'll get onto that in a moment. This is a genuinely exciting car. It's the, just the second standalone model from the performance sub-brand. It's the first fully electric offering. And we're gonna spend a little bit of time with it today, get acquainted with it, explore some of the details and the features. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm Alex Shiskovsky, and this is the Cooper Born. So it's comparably heavy when compared to a similarly sized ICE car, but a lot of that weight, in fact, most of it is centered very low down and in between the axles. You may have noticed it's got quite a long wheelbase. And that's because there's no need for a transmission tunnel. There's no big bulky engine block at the front. Everything sits very low down in the car, which lowers the center of gravity. As such, chassis control is really impressive. Turning is, is, is great. I was not expecting this to handle like this. I'm really astonished. And it really does go to show that there are a lot of performance benefits beyond outright pace for EVs. And weight distribution is definitely one of them. So whilst we stop here at a set of traffic lights, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the materials inside here. And it is a fantastic cabin. I do love this sort of instrument cluster pinnacle here. And it's just a really exciting, enjoyable place to be. A lot of the materials, there's a big emphasis at Cupra in terms of renewable and recycled materials. There's not a single animal product in here whatsoever. And a lot of the materials have been sustainably sourced. In fact, most of them have been sustainably sourced. A lot of them are recycled, which is just a fantastic thing, but it is a genuinely brilliant environment. I'm hard pressed to think of a contemporary automotive interior that I like quite this much. Very minimal, very stylish absolutely nailed it. Gosh, so there we have it, a genuinely impressive piece of kit. But it's also really exciting to see Cupra's vision in the metal. Obviously, they're a relatively young brand in automotive terms, and this is just their second standalone model, their first fully electric one. And I'm really genuinely pleased to report that they've produced a properly interesting immersive car. If you'd like a little bit more information on the Cooper Born or to explore it firsthand, please don't hesitate to contact a member of our Listers Cooper team who will be on hand to assist you.